Jack, you are, I read that you are taking something special out on tour, a trailer filled with artifacts from your old room at your parents' house. Uh, sort of. So well, it's not filled. We, uh... So the story was, I thought, the, the album means so much to me, so what space means a lot to me. And it's not, so my, my, the room that I grew up in New Jersey, lived there. Is, is New Jersey here? Some Where people, are they? Some people cheered, and then some people pointed <laughs> with shame. But that's it, right? Oh, yeah, you're like, me. I am. Uh, it's cool. It's cool to, you know, the, spend your whole life trying to get out of a place. That's what I think New Jersey music sounds like, because... <laughs> so I'd sit in this bedroom, right? You, 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 you're right there. You're right by New York City. In a way, it's, like, so cruel, because... Maybe some people are really far away from big cities where it's all happening, where yeah. everyone's doing all the sex and everyone's trying all the... <laughs> doing all the sex. <laughs> yeah. And everybody's experimenting with things and all the bands. I'd be just a few miles from New York City sitting in my bedroom and any given night growing up, Nine Inch Nails was playing in the city or Green Day or Nirvana. It was, it's all, all happening, right? So you're there and you, you're forced to dream. I think that's what... You know, if you compare like New Jersey music to New York City music, it's like... I think a lot of New York City music gets very shoegazy and like, I don't care. It's very jaded because yeah. you're, you're in the middle of it. And then all these places right outside big cities like New Jersey, it's almost like hope. It's like, we got to get the hell out of here. <laughs> um, and I grew up with that. I remember that with, I remember hearing that in, in Lifetime and the punk music I heard. And when I first heard Springsteen, I was like, oh, that, that, that's how, yeah. that, that's how I feel too is like, I, I, I got to get out of here. And, and, but you don't at the same time and you get older, you realize that was important. So this room I lived my whole life, made all my records. We removed it. I mean, every bit, everything from on the walls, the bed, the literal rug, froze it. It's all glued together, and now people can hear it, just like we were talking about before. It's not for everyone. I can't put the whole world in that room. I can, the whole world can hear this, but I can't put them all in the room. But for whoever got to be in there, anyone here get to go in? It, it mattered, you know? And so it was uh, financially crippling, but we went with it. <laughs> It's Bleacher's new album, Gone Now. Make sure you go out and get it. Uh, you want to play another song for us? I, 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 grew up, I, grew, I grew up with this guy. Essex County, Bergen County. Yeah. And your, your folks are here. Yeah, you, you promised you'd give my dad a shout out. Rick, what's up, Rick? Mom and dad, what's up? In the back. Speaking of my dad, I'd love to have a meeting after this and get, get some scenario together where we could just, like... You know the the whole phone tap stuff that you guys do. I don't do that, but yeah. But I, I really want to yeah. ruin his life a l little <laughs> bit. You know, ruin we'll his relationships, his work relationships. Just but live on broadcast. We'll have a meeting after the show. Can we play an old song? Or do or, or do you want to talk more? Roller coaster. Yes, let's do it. Okay. Bleachers. <laughs> 